Hi everyone, welcome to BIM Parametrics. This is Mohammad Sharuk, and in this video, we are going to continue with our United Towers, which we have done in our previous video. Now, in the last video, what we have created is we created this uh, United Towers using uh, mass conceptual design environment of massing. So now, in this video, what we are going to do is we will send this model into the project environment, and then we are going to add curtain walls to it. So to start with. We'll go and start a new project. And let's go and create a project here. So this will be an architectural template only. So let's click OK. Now, once the project is ready, we can go and click on Switch Windows option. And then let's go to United Tower Massing option. Now here, I would like to load my building to the project. So for this, we will click on Load into Project. Just click on this dialog, uh, close this dialog box, and then you will see the massing will or the mass model will come into the project environment. So we can just click in the center. Once done, let me switch off this elevation points using the visibility graphics. So let's switch on V, uh, just type VG in keyboard, and then annotation categories and select elevations, uncheck it, and then apply. Okay, let's go to 3D view now. Okay, let's see it from the elevation. So now you can see this is our model here present. So let's go to 3D view. And then what I'm going to do right now is let's go to the visual uh, visual style option in the view control bar and let's make it shaded. Or we can make it as realistic also. <coughs> Next, let's go to the south view. And let's suppose I would like to add some levels here. So here we can see uh, right now there are two levels are present already. And let's suppose I would like to create uh, some more levels. So let's suppose this level two is at a height of five meters or 5,000 millimeter. And I would like to create some more levels here. So for that, uh, if I calculate it, so our height of the tower is, or the building is 200 meters. And we would like to add some levels with a a distance of 5 meters between each of them. So it will be total in 40. So now to create the 40 levels, what I'm going to do is let me select this existing level first. And then from the modify option, we will select the array option. So let's click on array. Select the endpoint for this level. And then we can go and, OK, let me see something here. OK, it's level 2. All right. So select again array and then select the okay let's give the number so in total right now we have level one is 40 so in total we need now level two plus uh, 39 all right so this one will be total i need is 39 so let's add the distance so it will be five meters each of them and then click okay i don't want to group them so uncheck it and click i think it created a grouping. So what we can do is, or right, I made a mistake also that it should not be 40 here. I guess if we go and see, it's showing level one, two. Okay, so it should be, okay, I didn't calculate it in the level one, so it should be total in, uh, it should be 40, including this one. So let's go back again. So I undo the previous one. So let's go and click array and uncheck this group and associate and make it 40 this time. And then second, so from this end point till five meters. And now you can see we got total 41 levels, including the ground floor. So it is G plus 40. So let's go to 3D view now. Next, I would like to create the mass floors to it. I would like to add some floors. So to add the floors, what we will do is we can select the mass. We already have the levels created. Now, once you select the mass, you can go and select mass floor option. So click on mass floor. And then I would like to create my mass in all the floor except the last flo uh, floor that is level number 41 because that will act as the roof. So let's select level one here and then press shift key and then select level 40 and then check mark all of them. Click OK. And then wait a while. Now you will see all the floors for each level has been created respectively. Now one thing you will notice is 
uh, this mask doesn't have any you can see here it doesn't have any uh, thickness so this is actually a mass flow it's not an actual flow so what mass flow will help you it will help you to calculate what is the floor area and the sur surface area or the volume is uh, present in, in spe uh, specific uh, area so now let's suppose if you would like to create the mass flow for each of them or th uh, sorry the real flow so for that you can go to massing and side and then from the model by face option you can select floor by face option select floor by face and then we can select all we can make a window and select all the floors and then click on create floor option now once it is done we can close it and now if you zoom and see you can see there is a thickness added to each of the mass flow now once this is done it's better idea to save the project because uh, if it crash we will lose our work so let's save it save as a project and let me go back and then I'll save it in United Towers so let's save it United Tower Bahrain and save it once done now the next step we need to do is okay uh, what I'm going to do is let me switch off the mass floors here you can see this mass floor and the actual floor by fa face are overlapping each other so in order to uh, hide it I can select everything and then go to filter from the status bar and then just uncheck everything except the mass floor so click apply click OK you can see all the mass floors are selected right click and then go to hide in view and then elements next once this is done now the, our next part is I would like to add some curtain system to it so I would like to add a curtain wall so to add a curtain wall we can use curtain system and then let's suppose let me select only one face here right now and then click on create system you should wait for a while you can see it is already creating it so now if I zoom here you will notice this is our curtain present now we need to check whether our curtain system is exactly uh, or is it look like uh, the curtains were present in the real tower so for that what I can do let's go to the uh, Google Earth back and then the one best way we have is we have the image also but in the image it's not that clear so what we can do is we can use the option for street view so let's go to street view and then let's suppose okay there is a photosphere present here so let's click on this photosphere in this blue dot all right and then you will notice here you can see we have this is how our curtain wall looks like so we can consider you see in our case what we are getting right now is you see the horizontal part is more uh, and the vertical part is less in weight so what we can do is we can switch it back so I guess approximately it's going to be one two three and then four meters in height and then we can consider it to be like one point two meters in the width part so for this what I'm going to do let's select our curtain walls and then okay let's zoom out now before I create everything let me go back and then I will go and select a curtain system now I'm going to create everything all together now for the curtain system right now you will see in the, here in the type selector it is the size is 1500 cross 3000 so we go to edit type and what we would like to do here is this grid 1 spacing will be 1200 and then grid 2 spacing should be 4 meters you can select apply click OK now once okay uh, for this also I should duplicate the name if you don't change the name there is no harm but it's better idea to change the name so let's make this one as 1200 and then 4000 and then click OK once done click apply and then once it is selected what we can do we can select all the faces okay we should select it one by one so one two no need to press the control while you select the face so three and then this face is remaining if you cannot select any face you can use the tab key to cycle the selection and then this is the I guess I selected the bottom one no is it it's fine 
So let's go back and select again the remaining, the last phase. And once everything is selected, we can go and click on create system. Now for sure it's going to take time. So what I will do after creating the system, I will pause the video and I'll resume it back once all the systems, all the curtain systems are created. So let's click on create system. And now you can see it started creating the curtain system here. So let me pause the video and I'll resume it once it is finished. All right, so now the curtain systems are created. Now what we can do, we can zoom it and you will notice that's how our panels have been added. You can see here. So it's similar to what we required it. Now later on, if you would like to add the mullions, so to add the mullions, what we can do, or the frame, we can simply go for architecture tab, and then we can select mullion from the build panel, select mullion, and then use all grid line, and simply you can select each face. I'll recommend you can select each face one by one, so it will is a better idea, and it will not hang your system, and will not crash the rivet. So again, it's taking some more time, so let me pause it for a while. All right, so the mullion is added in one face. Now, if I zoom and see, you can see the mullions are present here. So they are perfectly added. Now, once this is done, so I guess our building has been properly created. So what the other next thing we can do is we are, okay, we can add a roof here. So what is remaining is the roof. So let's go back to massing inside. And from model by face, you can select roof option and then select the top face and then click on Okay, let's make it like, okay, it, it should be 400 uh, mm, it's okay, create roof. And you can see the roof has been added properly. Now next, what I will do is let me switch off the unwanted elements. That is, I don't want to see the levels here and I don't want to see the m actual mass which is present either. So for that, what we can do, uh, levels, I can go to visibility graphics, annotation categories. Let's go to levels and switch off, click okay. And next, for to switch off or to hide the mask, you can select everything and then go to filter and then you can check none and just select the mask, click apply and then OK. And then right click, hide in view elements. So the mask will be uh, hidden. So this how you can create United Towers in Revit using the conceptual design environment. Now, if uh, at last, for example, you would like to see how it would look like in the camera view. So we can go to floor plan level one, and then we can go to view, 3D view, camera, and then we can add some a uh, camera view. Or else what we can do is also we can add a, let me delete the camera for a while, and let's add some a uh, flow here. So let's add a flow. We can use a flow here. Now once the flow is added, let's go back to view, 3D view, camera. And let's suppose you are standing somewhere here and you are looking to the building. All right, now what we can do also is we can just adjust our uh, view. Let me just grab this. All right. Now, once this is done, we can go to visual style and make it realistic. And now you can see, you can a bit, you can try to move it. And let's suppose you would like to add some uh, background. So for that, what you can do is, okay, let me make this detail to fine. Let's go to graphic display option. I'm going to add a background here. So let's go to graphic display option and background it's right now it is none we can add a sky so ground color will be like this okay and then click apply and click okay now you can see our sky is being added here also to hide the grids for example or to make it look more smooth the edges we can go to again graphic display option i can m check mark the smooth lines if you switch off this apply you will not see any elements here so let the edges should be visible 
and then we can go to shadows and we can add some cast shadow option and the ambient shadows so click apply again and then click OK and here you will notice this is how our building has been properly created so thank you very much if you like this video please subscribe to BIM Parametrics for your for the next video please wait and inshallah we will see something new this time thank you very much